Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. I just have so many bullish news items for you guys. You know, since the video video I put out this morning, Bitcoin has crossed over $52,000. We're also going to talk about Tim Draper doubling down on his price prediction, Anthony Scaramucci also giving his price prediction, BlackRock goes on CNBC, talks about their dabbling in Bitcoin, and Coinbase has multiple Fortune 500 clients that are working with them, and they actually executed Tesla's Bitcoin buy. We're going to break it down. Before we do, guys, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel, and it doesn't cost you anything. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is at $52,251, Ethereum at $1,842, excuse me, $1,842, Polkadot over $31, Cardano uh, over 88 cents. So looking very bullish here. And of course, the story of the day is Bitcoin. It, it just keeps going up. So look at this green candle here. Very, very nice, my friends. I like what I'm seeing here. And I'm hoping this respect, this is the start of the rally that mirrors what took place in uh, December and ran through January, where we went from the 20,000s all the way to 30 something thousand dollars, right? Um, excuse me, near $41,000. And then we had our correction consolidation period. And then of course, the Tesla pump and here we got our rally going up. So look, uh, 60,000 as the next target or between 60 to 65 is in play. So let's see how things uh, move ahead. But guys, uh, the big players are here, like Anthony Scaramucci. And by the way, I'm interviewing Anthony next week. So if you guys got questions for him, leave them in the comment section. But he went on CNBC and doubled down saying Bitcoin can hit $100,000 this year. Let me play it for you. Anthony, Anthony, real yeah. quick, because I know you got to run and I know you're in the business. You got a fund, you got a Bitcoin fund. But yeah. uh, are we going $100,000 first or are we going uh, in reverse first? Well, listen, this, the thing is volatile. Again, I want to be cautious with individual investors, but we like it. We have over a half a billion dollars in Bitcoin right now. And obviously our Bitcoin fund started in December. It's done quite well, but be cautious. But Andrew, I do think we see $100,000 in this coin before year end. So notice what he said. They have half a billion dollars in this Bitcoin fund that they created, Skybridge Capital. So they're seeing inflows. And he's definitely predicting a hundred thousand dollar price point um, before the year, end of the year, guys. And here, Tim Draper tweeted out two hundred and fifty thousand dollars by the end of 22, 2022, excuse me, just five X from here, looking at a lot more likely than when I made the initial prediction three years ago. eh? so, you know, he made his predictions years ago and it looks like it's coming to fruition here. So he's been a big time Bitcoin bull in, ahead of many of these other institutional players. Now, take a look at this. Talk about demand and inflows. Grayscale has hit $40 billion of assets under management. And of course, that's not just Bitcoin. That is Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Horizon, Litecoin, Stellar Lumen, Zcash, and of course, their digital large cap fund. But the majority of the money is in the Bitcoin trust. But they keep growing, guys, year over year, month over month, quarter over quarter. It is crazy crazy amount of money they're getting and uh go grayscale they're they're seeing the institutional demand right um here frank chaparro uh reporter at the block said scoop coinbase helped facilitate tesla's 1.5 billion dollar bitcoin buy the crypto exchange's prime brokerage business formerly known as tagomi they had acquired tagomi is said to have several fortune 500 companies as clients according to sources familiar with the situation yeah that wouldn't surprise me. They helped uh, MicroStrategy execute their Bitcoin buy, which over 70,000 uh, Bitcoin. And of course, Tesla's Bitcoin buy. So I'm sure they have other Fortune 500 companies working with them. And as we reported this morning, guys, they're looking to go uh, do their public offering soon with an e uh, evaluation of $77 billion, around $303 per share. We'll see how that goes, but that's very bullish. And BlackRock, their chief investment officer went on CNBC and said, we're dabbling in Bitcoin, <laughs> the world's largest asset manager. So uh, here's the tweet. Possibly the most bullish news is that BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager at $8.7 trillion in assets under management, says that they are starting to dabble with Bitcoin. And, you know, they, 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 when they say dabbling, they're all in. Let me play you the clip here. They're in the debts they're building. So. So yeah, so we've started to dabble a bit in that, into it, and, and uh, you know I, I wouldn't put a number on the percentage allocation one should have. It depends on what the rest of your portfolio looks like. 
But listen, I mean, I've, you know, I think you talk about one of your shows, you know, in my senses, the technology has evolved and the regulations have evolved to the point where where uh, a number of people find that the, it should be part of the portfolio. And so, uh, so, you know, that's what's driving the price up. What do you, can you speak to, to BlackRock's uh, eventual plans? What would, you, what, you, what would you be recommending? I, you're, you're not as old as Mellon. You got a lot more money, but that's one of the oldest banks around. <laughs> they, they saw fit to, to make a comment. Where, where would, what do you think will, will happen uh, down the road? So, I mean, I'm not in a position to make recommendation on that. And so, listen, I think, I think some people holding it as a storehouse of value and diversifying your portfolio. Listen, the one thing I've, I've owned, and I think somebody said on one of the, uh, the shows on with you guys recently, you know, we're holding a lot more cash than we've held, than we've held historically. It's because duration doesn't work. Interest rates don't work as a hedge. And so diversifying into other assets makes, makes, makes some sense. And so, you know, holding some portion of what you hold in cash and things, uh, like crypto is, um, you know, seems to make some sense. So they're bullish. They, he's talking about diversification. He's got people asking him about this and the technology, as he said, the regulations are up to par. And, you know, when he's talking about technology, I mean, the ability to buy, sell, trade and also custody. Right. We see the likes of Fidelity, Coinbase, all these big players are setting up proper uh, custody services and the ability to spot markets, derivative markets and all those things. So very bullish. You got the world's largest asset manager uh, getting involved here, guys. You know what's coming next. Now, speaking of bullish news, and this is related to Polkadot. And no, I did not take a position in Polkadot. I, I keep it real with you guys. I wish I did. Uh, but that's okay. You can't you know, catch all of the winners, right? You're going to have some... Uh, some some of the things that you're gonna miss. It's not possible to get everything, but you know I have winners like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Chainlink, which have done really well for me. And obviously, um, I, I wish I had some Polkadot. But those of you who hold Polkadot, this is bullish news for you. So Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, UBS are trading an ETP tied to Polkadot's crypto. The purchases suggest institutional investors' appetite for crypto exposure in the bull market goes far beyond Bitcoin or even Ether. That's great, guys. And look, this news right here is <laughs> may, may make me FOMO into Polkadot, but I'll let you guys know when I do add um, the, the respective, uh, when I add an allocation to my portfolio. So these banks and brokerages purchase small amounts of shares in Switzerland's base 21 shares ETP. The data shows the shares de debuted, uh, debuted on February 4th on the six, six Swiss exchange at a price of 22 to $23 and have since climbed to Thirty dollars. Uh, the purchases suggest institutional investors' appetite for crypto exposure in the current bull market uh, goes beyond the market bellwether, Bitcoin, or even its closest rival, Ether. The DOT token's market capitalization is currently over nineteen billion dollars, making it the fifth largest crypto, according to CoinGecko data. The brainchild of Ethereum co-founder Gavin Wood, uh, Polkadot is a blockchain network that supports various interconnected subchains called parachains. To be clear, these clients are not investing in DOT itself, but rather a security that tracks its performance. They won't need to download special software to run the, a wallet, and the ETP meets the mundane requirements of traditional investments, such as uh, investing, such as international securities identification number. So this is great. Once again, it's not a direct exposure, but they see it and and they're 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 investing around it because they see it's bullish right now, and it's um, certainly got some momentum going. So, like I said, guys, I will let you know if I take a position. But if you're holding polka dot, definitely bullish news um, here. Speaking to where we're headed, the token economy, the digital economy, and the credit card companies and all these banks getting involved, MasterCard launches prepaid card for world's first CBDC in Bahamas. The Bahamian sand dollar can now be used for payments anywhere MasterCard is accepted. You know what's coming next, right? The world's superpowers will have their respective CBDCs, and this is just the start, my friends. Um, this is one of the layers that is going to be interoperable with, with crypto and will boost adoption of crypto because these governments are going to push people to use their CBDCs and explain how the blockchain works and how a wallet works. And when you have that knowledge, you, you will be it will reduce a lot of the barriers into getting to the crypto market. And like I said, this is going to be interoperable with cryptocurrencies. You, you're going to be able to use your digital currencies to buy crypto. Um, so this is uh, very, very bullish. So guys, what do you think of Bitcoin? Keep going up and maybe we see 60,000 in the next week and a half or so. We'll see You know how far this rally takes us. But 
we are seeing big time demand, big players coming in. And like I said, I'm interviewing Anthony Scaramucci next week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button with a notification bell enable, share this video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.